What's going on guys? Big Boss here. I'm gonna bring you some crazy news. Kojima. Motherfucking Kojima. Today, the day he got out of Konami prison. He is in talks with Sony for a new game. New IP. Oh my god. Can you imagine that shit? Well, at least he got away from those jammy fucking bastards at Konami. Fuck Konami. Fuck you. Fuck you right in the ass. The way you treat a Kojima is just blatantly stupid. Ugh. Man. I still have to fucking finish my fucking thoughts on the actual Phantom Pain video. I'm still currently playing it and enjoying it. I'm going to bring that up in a little while. But for now, I'm just going to bring this news to you because it's just happened today. So yeah. Uh, it was some sort of translation in a, a place that uh, is far away. <laughs> well, anyway, the gist of it anyway is uh, Kojima is in, okay, in negotiations with Sony to have their first game debut on PlayStation. So, yeah, I mean, what do you think that could mean? Fucking anything, man. He could make anything. I mean, obviously, fucking Konami has the rights to Metal Gear, so they'll be like, uh, you can't do Metal Gear anymore. But maybe... Maybe he wants to do something new. Come on, man. He could do. And I've always wanted him to make a Western. Because you know all those Western-y elements are in the games. You know, Hint, Hint, Revolver, Ocelot. A guy with a fucking Colts in Collection Army. Has fucking spurs. Uh, I mean, what else? Rides a horse in the last in the new game. Come on, man. I mean, he's just like a mad Western nut. And the game is like half in Afghanistan. Which is like completely desert, desert, complete desert. God, I can't even speak English. I'm just so excited, man. Can you believe this shit? Come on. I haven't been this excited since I heard about that time I sat down. Okay, that was stupid. That was a rip-off. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Okay, so how can you fucking believe this shit? Imagine if he went back and he tried to do PT. Now, it would be obviously from a different engine, gaming engine, and obviously you'd have to talk to Guillermo del Toro, but maybe that's all gone and, you know, they don't want to talk about that anymore, but... God damn, can you imagine that? Yeah, the PT trailer was awesome. What do you think? What kind of game do you think he'll make? You think he'll make a scary one or uh, an action one? Or I mean, he'll make something movie centric ish, you know, because he always loves those movie kind of games. Um, what else? He could fucking make fucking loads. Like, I mean, um, whew, God, he had made sneaking and this kind of stuff. So maybe he'll just branch off into. Maybe some kind of sci fi type thing. Um, type thing. I can't speak, guys. Seriously. Okay. Um, so, what are your thoughts on this? What would you like to see him make? I mean, he has all these other games, I think. Well, I don't know. He probably worked on certain games or was a part of certain games earlier in his career around the time of Metal Gear or something like that. So, maybe something like that. I mean, people were saying Police Knots or, you know. You know the way he did that other game? Oh, Jesus, Zone of the Enders, there you go, 1 and 2. I don't have a clue about those games, I didn't play them that much. I'm not saying they're bad, I just don't know about them, really. Um, I played the first one on PS2, and it was it was weird. It was like, like you were a fucking giant robot, anyway. It was very fucking, you know, style of, Japanese style of um, game, game making. So, I don't know what else you could do. Um, anyway, it'll be interesting to see what will happen. Um, I can't wait, but obviously this is going to take forever to come out. I mean, even forever to be announced, and then we'll just have to see, I mean, what studio will he be a part of? I mean, the cert the different Sony studios, and, you know, most of them make really great games. I was saying most of them. I mean, all of them. Really? Yeah, I can't think of a bad one. Well, not right off the top of my head, because, <laughs> I mean, there's only certain games I do like. I'm not going to say I'm going to buy any kind of game, but because he's attached to it, because I love Metal Gear, I might get it. We'll just see what he brings up. Like, you never know. Um, whew. So, anyway, um, I guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, you can enjoy the rest of the video. This is just a, a game I was playing with Dante Mines. He was fucking having some crack in Metal Gear Online. Um... I still have uh, the review of Uncharted 4 Beta to put up. I'll be putting that up real soon. Yo. So anyway, that's great news. 
I'm excited. Of course, everyone's probably fucking told you this a million times already. I mean, if you're watching my video, you're probably just like, what does he think of it? Let's listen to him. He's ranting on. He's barely talking about it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the whole fucking thing in this. Oh, God. I can't believe it, man. I knew this would happen, though. I mean, he's just so talented. And Konami treats him like shit because it's probably some personal BS bullshit. <laughs> Why do I say BS? It's a very American thing to say. No offense, Americans. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with that, like. Um, what the hell? How did I go off on a tangent like that? Jesus Christ. Ugh, okay. Anyway, guys, I gotta go and, you know, take a shit and do all that stuff that's important. So, before I go, don't forget to beat shit down and blow shit up. Oops. Don't forget to blow shit up and beat shit down. <laughs>